What up though, this your boy DOC And like I said in my last video I was going to tap in with Hell Rail So we can do an exclusive video And do an interview so we can go ahead and talk about that subject And a few other things So stay tuned to this interview that's about to come up What up though, this your boy DOC And I got a special guest on the line You want to go ahead and introduce yourself, bro? Man, you now tilt into one of the realest dudes who ever touched the microphone, man. Mr. Ruga Ruga, that has shoot a top gun at dip set. So it be nice. Yeah, man. It's good to speak to you, man. I uh been following up on you. I've been fucking with you for a minute. Actually wanted to code this up out of that during that time period and still now, you know what I mean? I seen you got some new music coming out, followed by the feds, right? Yes, sir. That's my new single feature of my artist, E Bells. Email okay. When, when that's a uh, it's a whole project that's supposed to come out. Yeah, it's uh it's based off my project that I got coming out called Digital Scale, which is dropping in with another two weeks. So uh, it's gonna be like a, a mixtape slash album. So I'm dropping a mixtape, uh, Digital Scale. Then I'm coming out in November with the album called Digital Scale Reloaded. So. I'm going right. to give them some free music. Yeah, it's going to all be different music. It's going to be different music on a mixtape and different music on an album. So, right. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You you doing this all independent, pushing it by yourself? Yeah, all this independent. All this, all this is under Top Gunners. All this is under Top Gunners slash MGM, me and my uh, my homeboy company. So, we doing all this independent. Okay, for sure. You know, I had to uh, tap in with you because a lot of people been DMing me and I was seeing it and looking at it from my eyes. I'm like, this situation right. don't look right. I'm like, like I right. seen on your uh, Instagram the other day, I'm like, this ghetto report card been good since i known them. You know Always. I mean? So I wanted to see what was going on with that situation. So why, would a genius, why would a genius start getting straight A's and all of a sudden he getting B pluses and C minuses? Like, right. where, do that, where, where, where do that happen at? Right, right. So what actually happened that night? Well, what happened was I was supporting my artist. He had a uh, he had a performance or whatever, and uh, I seen some little sucking nigga that had an altercation with. And uh, long story short, he got out of his car like he wanted some sauce. So I, I ran down on him and he ran from me. So I'm like, you get out your car like you want some beef, but then you run from me. But that's neither here or there. He runs from he me. He say to him that and, your uh, man left you, dog. Name, so I'm wondering, like, what really happened? Is why would his, his man guys. skirt yeah, off on him and leave him like that? So I don't really know and if something happened tonight. somebody come from the side and hook on me. Mm. I, Floyd May I Floyd Mayweather weaves it and falls on the floor and hits my head on the wall. So the nigga who try to hook on me, my mans and them chase these niggas down. They track stars, they run, they they disappear. And the little corny nigga who I had the situation with picks up his phone and starts recording me while I'm on the floor getting myself together. Clearly I'm drunk. Clearly I hit my head on a wall. It's not like a nigga punched me in my face and knocked me out. Right. Clearly I'm drunk. Clearly, I got all my jewelry. So where I'm from, when we jump a nigga, or if we knock a nigga out, we take his jewelry. We go in his pockets. If we got a cell phone, we take his cell phone. We might take his sneakers off of him. Just we, we don't want him. We just might take his sneakers off of him just to embarrass him because we record him. But like, who records this nigga on the floor drunk? Right. But that's like this, that's some new era shit. That's like let me get some likes on my page. Let me embarrass a nigga who got a certified credibility. It's like, I got 20 bands if a nigga could pull out a footage of how Rel getting knocked out. So I don't understand why these blogs is reporting how Rel gets knocked out. Where's the guy that knocked me out? And where's the footage of me getting knocked out? So did the dude, It don't exist. So did the dude that picked up the star saying whatever you were saying, trying to make it seem a certain way, you personally know that cat or that was someone y'all just ran into? I that personally night? know this little nigga. He's jealous because he thought I was sleeping with his sister. His sister want to bone me. I don't want to bone his sister. Just keeping it respectful. Yeah. That's my home girl. But my thing is, is like, why are you making this personal? If you felt it was, why are you making this public? If you felt it was an issue, you could have called me. I could have met up with you. We could have both took off our jewelry. I would have beat you up, slapped you, turned you upside down, and then treated to a treated you to a drink, and, and told you why I disciplined you. But you wanna you wanna you wanna try to make it seem like 
it's something where it's not. Like, come on, bro. I've never been knocked out. The only person who knocked me out is George Maldonado. That's my dentist. And he knocks me out for two hours, and I wake up with my mouth numb, and I pay him, and I leave the dentist. That's the only person who knocks me out and get away with it. You are, bro? Right, right, yeah. yeah so see. my thing is, my thing is, like, real niggas who looking at it, like, rel on the floor drunk with all this jewelry on. He got knocked out. Why? Where's the nigga who knocked him out? And why niggas ain't take his jewelry and do him dirty? Right. That's my. That's what I was saying. That's the very first thing when I was looking at the situation. I, of course, you know I got to report. Got all my jewelry on. I, come on, nigga. If Floyd Mayweather in the ring and 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 and, and, and fucking uh a nigga uh hook on him and he weaves and hit his head on the turnbuckle, nigga. The referee going to say, relax, let Floyd get his shit together so he can get back up, and then the fight continue, nigga. That ain't no, no knockout. Right. You probably, All right, then. Y'all think y'all can dead the situation afterwards, or, you know, you know, I don't even want to, you know, go too far too deep in it. Yeah, I don't even want to give these, yeah. I don't even want to give these corny niggas no light, because they some corny niggas. It's some personal shit. It was not like a, 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 a nigga try me. It was a op. It was a little nigga who I raised. And he, he thought he he thought he 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 had enough courage to 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 challenge Daddy, but he ran from me, and his man tried to blindside me, and I Floyd my way mother me weaved it and slipped, and I don't consider that a knockout in my book. If you do, then I got knocked out. It that's a knockout. No, nah, I'm talking about, no, nah, shit, a motherfucker got to actually put hands on you to actually knock you out, you know what I mean? Exactly, and they got to punch you in your face, and you got to hit the canvas and be out cold, correct? Yeah, yeah. How many times we done seen niggas get knocked out on the internet, man? Knocked out I mean you're out cold, a nigga punched you in your face, and the person who punched you in your face was, was perfectly visible. Right, definitely. Yeah, for real. You see it every Come day. Come on, man. my nigga, if me and you day, fighting, man. and we, we fighting a one-on-one, and for whatever reason, me and you fighting, and I swing on you, and you weave it, and slip on a soda can, nigga. I'm going to let you get back up, and we're going to continue fighting. I ain't going to count that as I knock you out, nigga. Yeah, we live. It, and that's 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 just pure facts right there. Like you said earlier. That's just that's just pure facts. Is we, we, we fighting a one-on-one, and we fighting. Now, if, you, if a nigga running from me, and somebody come from the side, and I, Floyd, Mother, Floyd Mayweather, weaves it happily i just happily to see the shit and weaves it and slip on the floor that can't be considered a knockout man it just it's just unfortunate we live in an era right now where this we're we in an era where these blogs ain't got nothing else better to do and they ain't got no they don't you know it looks better saying hell rel gets knocked out by saying hell rel's on the floor drunk yeah what 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 what, what who's what 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 sounds better for a nigga to click into? How Rel got knocked out. Everybody want to see drama. Right. Everybody want to see something juicy. Everybody want to see a credible nigga get uncredible. You understand what I'm saying? Right. And that that's the main reason why I reached out to you because I'm like I'm seeing the trend now where right. You know it's motherfuckers. Nah, I ain't a part of that many people trend, man. Yeah. Niggas ain't out here knocking out OGs. I ain't going for. I ain't going. I ain't going for that. Yeah. Shit, crap. We ain't playing that. Niggas ain't out here knocking hell all out. Nah, I be in my hood every day with my jewelry on around murderers and hitters, nigga. If I was soft in my neighborhood with a tribe, I wouldn't be able to come to my neighborhood with a hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on and stand on the corner like the guard that I that the hood treat me like. So my thing is I didn't come this far to be getting straight A's. To start getting C pluses, my nigga. We ain't going for that. Word, word, definitely. Any last things that you want to say? You know, if you want to double back and tell them again the, the dates for the project and everything else. Digital scale rail, fish scale rail, Rolls Royce Ruger rail will be out on you niggas in two weeks, man. Please stop listening to the mumble rap. The rail is here. Don't pay attention to what you see on the internet, man. Uh, when you go to the movies, Spider-Man could crawl a wall, but do you really believe he could crawl a wall? <laughs> when you go to the movies, Superman could fly, but do you really mean, does it really mean he could fly because the camera's telling you that? Don't believe the hype. Digital scale is on the way. Salute to the rail. Fuck all the fake niggas. Excuse my language. And thank you for having me.